Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Terra Tech. If my voice sounds a little bit off, I have a sore throat, although well, it doesn't seem to affect the videos too much. But check it out, this is Sausage Dog, he's now a wide dog and he can spin around. <laughs> this is absolutely amazing. I decided to put the uh, the new wheel types on this one from the Venture Tech and check it out. He can just whiz around really quick and it is awesome. Like I'm probably going to put these wheels on all of them, although they are a little bit slippery. There is some drawbacks, you can see here. Um, you kind of skid around a lot, um, however it is relatively easy to stay in control of the vehicle, you just got to think about how much you're accelerating. Uh, but it zips around and I really do like it. I think I'm overturning at the moment as I go around here. And uh, another thing I've noticed, it doesn't seem to get stuck on any of these sorts of uh, bits of land like this. In fact that's probably the closest we've come to being stuck, a site just spawned over there. Yes, it has, just off there in the distance. Well, we're going to go destroy that. <laughs> and uh, in this episode, we are going to be flying our plane. In fact, we're going to be upgrading it and redesigning it. And as I mentioned in the last one, we're playing this before the update, before the reset. And uh, then we're going to do some live streams and stuff like that, which might already be happening at the moment. So twitch.tv slash Asuma um, is the place to go and follow me if you're interested in those. Now, we're going to click on this one over here. And, yep, you're going you're gonna to go and follow me, aren't you? Because I gave you an AI thing. <laughs> Let's set you to idle for now. And uh, we're going to change this little thing. And we're going to keep the normal wheels on it for now. What I want to do is uh, get rid of these weapons. We're going to put those ones back. You can go wherever you'll fit on there. And then we're going to move our buzz lights like this. Oh, there you go. So they're going to go across the side. And then I want to put our new weapons like this. Where's the other one? Back there. So they're both facing the wrong direction. Hopefully um, it can sort itself out. Let's see if we can actually rotate it. It's actually two blocks long, isn't it? So by default it's going to face backwards. Uh, the other alternative here then is to rotate this like around. Can we go all the way back there? We can. I'm a little bit worried. It's coming for us. It's time to fight. <laughs> oh no, he's taking out the airplane. That is worrying because that's what I wanted to fight today. And now it's going to blow up loads of stuff, isn't it? Is it? What's it doing? It's just one little bit. Right, you. Reverse. <laughs> because it's about to blow up. There we go. Okay, we actually came out of that without any damage, I think. This right here can go on there. I thought it was actually from the AI. And it seems that by interacting with it, I may have turned it off from being idle. There we go. Um, so to repair it, we can, of course, bring this thing over. <laughs> we don't have to bring the bubble to it. We can bring... So we don't have to take it to the bubble, we can bring the bubble to it, which is what I said. <laughs> yeah, so I'll finish upgrading this thing. Um, and uh, yeah, we're going to redesign the plane and fly it, and we're going to need some of the new block types for that. This thing is being ridiculously slow all of a sudden. Am I already too used to flying, or sorry, driving around with this one, which once again seems to have changed its AI. Just, just stay on idle. Maybe I set it to follow by mistake. Um, yeah, so if we just finish our upgrades quickly... What were we doing? We were going to put this thing on the front. So we just need to rotate this like all the way across like that and then put you on the front and we're good. We're looking pretty menacing now, right? We just need to find some bad guys. And actually there is another one very close by, so we're going to go and fight this thing. It looks like an easy target, to be honest. <laughs> there we go. See you later. I don't even know what it had. We've destroyed so much of it. Yeah, our weapons are really destructive. We do kind of take out a lot of things. We've got a new battery. That's awesome. A new payload uh, terminal, which is really cool. So we can buy stuff on the go. And uh, some more blocks. That's always useful. So not off to a bad start at all. And uh, I'm going to do a little bit of redesigning while it's night time. And by the way, thank you for all the feedback. We recorded at night in a previous episode. A lot of you said it looks fine, which is good to know. Um, so anyway, we're going to work on redesigning our plane. Alright, we are looking good here. A lot of you told me to try out um, these blocks right here because they're lighter. That's when it comes to the plane. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Oh, that was a terrible takeoff. Straight into a tree, not how you want to do it. <laughs> Let's hold down shift and i got to say, feels like it's pulling up a fair bit. That feels faster. That feels like we're travelling faster, which would make sense if you're lighter, right? I think. I'm not, I'm not an aerodynamic expert. We're definitely pulling up here. And by the way, I've had a lot of comments about how I fly the plane. And one thing I wanted to point out is you don't know what buttons I'm pressing. You see, right now I'm turning left to right, but I'm not holding up. And we keep sort of tilting upwards. And I think that means that these wings might need to go forward a little. Um, so now I'm pressing up to sort of dive down. And now I'm not pressing anything and it pulls itself up. So it doesn't hold steady. 
um, which is interesting and we want to bring this thing down so I'm going to stop accelerating and uh, we're going to try and try and land it nicely it feels like you can just coast your way down and uh, without slamming into the ground so somewhere here is where we want to land and that was kind of perfect wasn't it that was a really good landing so we're going to move those wings forward and then give that a try again and I want to get in that healing bubble look we've got another one at the back here we've got loads of them all over the place it's great uh, so you have just whacked the wheel I was going to say off this thing it's actually off of its own thing it's got some wheels underneath um, let's go and drag these onto here they go on the front I think they were on the front before but now we've moved them forward I think they're going to be better on the back um, so you'll go there this one will go on the other side and then we rotate it and then we're good to go again I think feels like we are all right then, let's do a takeoff, <laughs> and uh, let's hold down shift while we do this. So this time I'm hoping, oh wow, that straight away, that's pulling up harder, and that feels awkward. Yeah, that pulls up really hard, look at that, whoosh. Okay, so the wings being back was definitely better. <laughs> oh no, we're going to crash, we're going to crash, I don't want to do that, I don't want to do that. <gasps> press B, press B, and what's this? We have sort of stumbled into something, the aftermath of a fight by the looks of it. To be fair, <laughs> it looks like most of this stuff is now kind of cheap to us, uh, and I'm not seeing anything new. I mean, there's a few weapons. If I really wanted more of those, I'd pick them up, and nothing too great. I think I might take the coil lasers with me, and we might need to get out of here. Let's drag you over here. Can we get another one? <laughs> I think there was another one. A pound cannon. That's actually something I want anyway. So we'll definitely take that. Right. Looks like we've got the best out of this. Um, so let's get out of here before <laughs> there's any more destruction. Okay. Getting this thing back here was a nightmare. With a pound cannon on top, it adds a lot of weight. And this is something that a lot of you suggested was to add some pound cannons to our aeroplane. So I was going to put them underneath. So when we fly over top, they'll fire down and sort of drop bombs on enemies so we can attack them from the sky which will be a lot of fun it may also give us a really good advantage if they can't hit us when we're in the plane might take longer to uh, destroy them but then once they're destroyed we can scavenge some goods and bring them back here so you can see just too much weight at the front really and I've tried moving it around and uh, this thing is pretty lousy but you can see here got a pound cannon ready to be put on it and uh, we're going to have to move those wings back, but in general, now that we know that this thing is going to weigh it down a lot, we need to redesign the entire thing, and I have no idea how to do aerodynamics, so it might take a lot of playing around. I really don't know what the next step is, but that is what we're going to try and do, make this thing bigger and uh, make it stable. So, meet the plane that cannot fly. <laughs> we are in the, uh, the test chamber area of the game. This is actually like a, an expansion pack uh, for testing out things. And I'm having no luck. I've been rearranging the blocks, adjusting all of these things, unable to get it to fly. And uh, and then I noticed something. Some of you may be screaming it, <laughs> but we're going to go back over here because this test area is full of really cool stuff. You can kind of get a sneak peek of everything that's available in the game here, as you can see. Um, all of the blocks are available for you to play around with. So over here, you know, we've got some uh, some megaton cannons. Wow, I have no idea. Well, obviously it's a cannon, but no idea what any of this stuff really is. Um, it looks really cool though. We started to see some of these blocks. We've got a few of those already and these are the GSO ones over here. Um, so then there's also these cool looking things I've seen from you know thumbnails and uh, videos on YouTube and such. Can't wait till we get to using those. I don't know how far out you have to go in the world but I imagine it's going to take a while to get to that kind of level of the game. And, uh, and then if we head over here you can see there's even more things that I don't even know what half of this stuff is. There's some um, what are these? Uh, down here you've got like filters. These are prototypes. I think what happens is this world has some features that are going to come in the next update. And I do believe the filters are some of those. But I could be talking rubbish here as well. And there's just a load of really cool and interesting stuff here. I have no idea what all of it does. These things right here are silos though. I like the sound of that, like being able to store stuff. But anyway, I went over here to, uh, to grab some wings when I was playing around with it. And then I noticed that, wait a minute, there's uh, two types of wings. We've got these over here and these ones. And uh, if we grab this and put it on that side and this one on that side, then I realized, oh, they're the proper wings for flying, aren't they? This thing that I've been grabbing is the tail that goes over there. So I've uh, been testing this so far, flying around, trying to figure out what's going to make this thing fly. And I've been using um, the wrong bits and bobs. So possibly that is definitely in the wrong position. You should go over there to the side. Possibly now this thing will fly and it's taking off, but it looks like it's too heavy at the front. 
Um, so we might have to add more blocks at the back in order to, to distribute the weight. Oh, let's give it a go. <laughs> we're going to whack the front there, and then we're going to be able to go across. Can we make it to the other side? Oh, we did. And, uh, and now we're gliding along. So this has potential, doesn't it? So we've gone for double the propellers at the front, a bigger wind wingspan, and uh, I think we just need to make it drop a little bit further back. However, we are going to make this with some pound cannons on, so maybe what we should do is go and grab a pound cannon and put it on at the back and see if that helps distribute the weight. So weapons are just in this middle area. Let's grab you, and then another one reappears, which is really cool. And then can we go underneath and just put a pound cannon at the end? We can do that. It does mean <laughs> that the wheels are now off the ground, which is a little bit awkward. I've also managed to place it on the side. So maybe what we do temporarily is just push that forward, um, put one there and there. But now that we know my mistake, I'm going to be playing around with this a lot, and I reckon we'll be able to come up with something. So it seems like our wheels are overbed, so this thing is uh, quite heavy. Can it take off the ground? It can. Uh, but now it feels like the back's probably too heavy. So let's ditch. In fact, can we move that forward by one? Put one there. Ditch that one. And now let's see what happens. Let's load on the wheels. That was a nice takeoff. <laughs> but I wasn't holding down shift, so let's do it again. That feels very steady. Uh, we can tilt to the sides. We can dive down a little bit. Dive up. That looks like our plane. Turning, though, is a little bit tricky. You've got to go sideways and pull back like that. Got to pull back quite harsh. <laughs> Uh, but I like that. That feels really stable. I'm just holding down shift now and we're continually going forward. We can sort of level it out a little bit. I think it likes to pull up just a touch. And man, I think flying this thing is going to be real nice. So I'm tempted to go and build this straight away <laughs> on our actual survival world. Where is the middle? We can press this button, which is awesome. There we go. We're back. Uh, but what I'd like to know right now is can I grab... Oh, it looks like some of the things have disappeared on the ground, doesn't it? <laughs> that is... Odd, that is very odd. Um, I can grab a cab over here, can I? That's the AI module. Let's grab a cab. Can I swap between? Excellent. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna take my hand at trying to build a couple more designs here. Maybe make something a little bit bigger or more ambitious, because that's the way to go with this game, I feel. Um, but yeah, it looks like we've we figured it out, and now we're gonna be able to build an aeroplane and explore with it. So I think we found the plane here. This one is a steady flyer. It's not quite as agile as I'd like. But we have three pound cannons attached to this thing. It's going to be a menacing bomber. Look at that. And as we shoot, it adjusts our flight path slightly. Uh, you'll notice this thing has a radar as well. That's so we can obviously see um, the base on the minimap and then, you know, bomb whoever's below us from up above, which is going to be awesome. Now, I want to try and head back to base because I want to show you something that I had a second ago. There was one with less pound cannons that had a really stable flight to it. And uh, we're just going to go back here and rebuild that because I've sort of been reworking this thing um, as I've been testing it. So the one that I found that worked really well, let's just hop over here and then press B to stop. Stop! There we go. <laughs> um, it only had two pound cannons on them. Where they were exactly, I'm not sure. I think they were, actually, I think they were in the same spot. But initially, I had these blocks right here on either side where the pound cannons are just so they could hold up the wings. Obviously, I need the block at the back to do that. Uh, but then I attached a block there and there, and we only had the two pound cannons, and that flied extremely well. And I think the thing over here is broken at the moment, so we can't grab another block. Let's put this one on the side, and then let's remove that pound cannon at the back. This one, if it's going to act the same, has much better stability in the air. Like, it takes off a little bit quicker, and it's a little bit more nimble and agile, which is really cool. Uh, but we're going to go for the one with a three pound cannon. But if you're looking for a plane design, I'd highly recommend this. This is really nice kind of flight here. And although um, it may look the same as the one before, believe me, controlling it is a lot easier. This is very... Uh, very friendly. So we're going to go for the one with three pound cannons because we're looking for that firepower, but that is uh, another good design right there. All right, here we go. I've waited until it's daytime because I haven't attached any lights to this thing. Let's put that over there. I could attach some, um, but <laughs> I don't want to mess with the weight of this thing, although the lights are probably, the lights are probably light, aren't they? <laughs> Makes sense. Uh, so here we go. All right, so we need to find some baddies and bomb them. Bomb them to hell. I think we're going to go out to the desert and uh, and look for a target out there. And there's actually one right here. Oh, it's kind of awkward to get close. 
And I have no idea if we hit it at all then. I was pressing spacebar to shoot. This is this is kind of awkward to, to focus on a couple of things here. you got to fly, you've got to line yourself up with the bad guy, and then hold down spacebar. Oh, let's keep it. Keep it above the trees. And let's head out to the desert here and look for a target. This is going to be awesome. That's our base uh, just over there. Is there anything around to the side here? Doesn't look like it. Let's go further out into the desert. I am doing a terrible job of flying this thing. <laughs> Heading down into the ground. Oh. Alright, so the site... Wow, that looks interesting. Oh my days, look at that thing. Let's hold down space fire. It's like a spider fighter. Right, did we... <laughs> I can't even tell if we got close to doing damage to it. Let's, uh, let's fly back around and do another flyby. That's what we're going to call these. And man, we move away from this thing quick. Although it's on our radar. Wow, that really didn't seem to do anything. I'm going to keep trying. Let's turn around and do that once more. But yeah, the thing goes off of our radar quickly. So when we, when we come back around like this, we don't get too much chance to align ourselves. Right, so we're going in for our third one here. I'm not... Not that close to it, am I? It looks like the pound cannon has, you know, some range to it, like it can shoot off to the side a little bit. All right, so let's turn around once more, and uh, and do another flyby. Ooh, <laughs> pushing it a little bit, pushing it a lot actually. I'm really not the flying type. There we go, sort of getting it straight. I can't even tell if we're hitting it. This is ridiculous. Okay, so I got some comments saying, uh, you know, add a pound cannon to your plane and fly over bad guys and bomb them to hell, and it sounded really good. Uh, but in actuality, this feels kind of like a, a really difficult strategy. I mean, <laughs> it doesn't feel like we're even hitting them. Let's see. I mean, nothing, nothing seems to have blown up yet. Right, we'll go a little bit closer. We're holding down space. We're shooting the pound cannon, and I don't even know if we hit it. Uh, maybe we need to be a little bit more precise. Why don't we try turning around? Let's get this right. Let's get a nice, nice turn going on here. That's nice. <laughs> oh, nice is the word. And there it is. Right. So we've lined ourselves up fairly well. Now we're gonna go as close as we can, and then hold down spacebar at the last second. So spacebar like that. I don't even know if that's closer. Uh, all I can tell is that it continues to shoot at us. And what is this? What are we trying to achieve here? We're trying to blow stuff up, right? And then if we find some new blocks, then we can attach them to ourselves and buy them uh, later on. And that's the sort of way of bringing them back, I guess. Discovering new blocks would be the strategy. Okay, this thing's now moving. Wasn't doing that before. This time we're going to hold down space as we go over. I'm going to try and slow it down a little bit. Oh my god, that was so risky. And I don't think we've even scratched it. So I'm starting to think this was not a great idea. <laughs> For those of you that did leave a comment suggesting uh, to do this, let me know if you actually played the game and did it yourself. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe I've overlooked like something here. But this seems to be the strategy. Put a pound cannon on and then uh, go over it. Where are we? I've completely lost my bearings. <laughs> That's another problem with me flying a plane is that I might lose my bearings. Oh, at least this thing flies nice. I've got to say that. And we know how to make it fly a little bit better. So this thing shows no signs at all of us defeating it. Nah. This this feels really naff. And it might be the machine that we're fighting isn't that great for this. So let's continue with a little bit of exploring. This thing looks like it has a lot of weapons on top of it. What happens if we try and bomb you? Nothing. I, I can't even tell if the pound cannons are getting close. And wow, it is probably getting closer to us than we are to it at the moment, which is kind of worrying. Alright, I'm going to stop firing those and we're going to fly off into the distance. I think now um, we'll just we'll just fly out further than we've done before, see if we can find anything interesting. I've found something out here. There is a yellow tech vehicle and then I noticed it on my mini-map. There's also one of those block dispensers. And this will be the second time that we've seen some of the yellow level tech, but uh, we'll be able to get our hands on a block here, so... Oh, we've got to be careful here. That thing, I think, will attack us with a drill or something along those lines. And then just here, if we can land, it's the place to get ourselves a block. Okay, we've successfully landed. Can we drag from here? Oh, we can. That's cool. Look, there's another one over there. Um, so all we've got to do is attach it. Look at that. What is that? What is that block? That is a headlight. <laughs> I thought it was a drill. Okay, apparently it emits light. Let's read the little description here. This will chew up anything you press it against in a matter of seconds. Oh, okay, so maybe it is a drill. 
Can we fly with it? Probably not. This is probably a bad idea to even try and take off. Yeah, we're going to leave it behind. We can now purchase that block later on, which is cool. And uh, I'm going to continue heading out in this direction. Must hold down shift. See if we can find any more of those. Oh, you should have seen it. I just made a beautiful landing. What is this right here? We've got another block. Wow, that looks... <laughs> it didn't look quite as big when it was over there. That is a pretty big block, isn't it? Uh, what are you? You are a boss cab. Very cool. Uh, that means we can probably click on that and then that's like the equivalent of this cab, isn't it? I'm just wondering, now that we've taken that, is another one going to be respawning here? And how long would it take? Like, could we sit next to one of these things and just wait for it to uh, respawn over and over again? Also noticing that there's a blue circle here on the radar instead of the icon for the block dispenser, which is unusual. <laughs> Um, and I think what I'll probably do is I'll fly out to one of the block dispensers that we've seen before and see if it's doing the same type. So what we're going to do is head back to base and if it is dispensing another block we know that it respawns. If it's a different type we can quite likely just sit next to them and uh, harvest them which is going to be very cool. So we're going to head back to base and go back to one of those previous block spawners we've seen. So we made it back to base safe and sound almost because we are getting invaded which is never good. <laughs> And we don't have any uh, shields or anything like that, which is very, very worrying. But we've got the side-on approach here, and I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. We're fine. What do we get from that? <laughs> uh, but the looks of it, just some blocks. I'll pick these up in a moment, because that's going to be it. Unfortunately, I, uh, I couldn't find the block dispensers out there in the desert and then it got dark and very difficult to navigate so I decided to head back here but anyway that's going to be it for this episode if you've enjoyed it feel free to leave a like down below and uh, I'm trying to get healed up here that's not going to work out is it uh, but yeah that's going to be it for me this episode so as always thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you next time bye bye